Hi, I'm Re from mummyand4.com or welcome back to my channel and this is the second part in my cleaning essentials series. In part one, if you have not checked that out, which I will link up in the cards now and also down below, I talked about my favourite reusable cleaning products. I have so, so many of them, so after you've watched this, be sure to go and check out that video. And today's video, I'm talking about my favourite consumable cleaning products. The kind of products I don't have kind of a reusable alternative for. So if you're new here, welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. I do loads and loads of speed cleans, shop with me's hauls, day in the life videos, loads of tips, tricks and hacks to make your life easier. So I hope you will enjoy all of those videos. So my very first cleaning essential favourite is Zuvlora. Yes, it is super popular and since Mrs Hinge started talking about it, the whole country loves it and you know what, I love it too. I do actually use it for lots of different things. I use a cap full of Zoflora in a spray cleaning bottle diluted with water and I use that as a surface cleaner and disinfectant. I use a cap full of Zoflora in with my wash if I'm washing towels. I use a cap full of Zoflora in the sink to disinfect kind of cleaning cloths, things like that. I use a cap full of Zoflora to actually clean the cleaning cloths in with the washing powder in the machine. There are so, so many uses for Zoflora. I could go on about those all day. Perhaps we'll do in a separate video. Anyway, let me know if you would actually like a whole separate video on how I use Zoflora. Let me know in the comments. Love it. And currently my favorite is Linen Fresh. I have gone through a few other favorites as well, but this is the one I kind of keep coming back to because I never get sick of it. Don't forget that all of the products that I mentioned in this video are linked below. My next fave and essential cleaning product is Pledge furniture spray. I do actually dust lots of surfaces just using the reusable kind that I mentioned in my reusable favorites video but if I have got surfaces that I feel are attracting a lot of dust or really you know need a bit of an extra polish I do use these with a microfiber cloth which again I would discussed in my reusable cleaning products video. My next essential product is my Star Drops White Wine Vinegar Spray. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this product. It works fantastically on mirrors and glass surfaces to get them really really super clean but it does smell like vinegar so <laughs> as much as I like the finish I'm not in love with the smell. Compared to the Flora, which I really really love the smell, I will use this sparingly and kind of only on the surfaces I have to use it which would be kind of shower doors or mirrors but yeah good product funny smell. My next favourite is a good old bit of flash bathroom. Uh, this is just great for bringing your bathroom back to smelling and looking great. It doesn't smell as great as Sephora, but it does not smell as bad as vinegar. So what a somewhere in the middle kind of smell with flash bathroom. It is another one of those ones, much like Sephora, you do feel like you need to kind of open the windows and ventilate as well. Um, and I, so I wouldn't use this if the children are kind of in the bathroom at all. If the children are like in the bathroom while I'm cleaning, just I just want to give a really quick work, quick wipe around. I will use something like one of the um, minky pads or one of the minky dupe alternative pads that I discuss in this video. But if I'm on my own in the bathroom and it is um, easy to open the window and ventilate, then flash bathroom is my go to. My next essential consumable product is like a semi, it's somewhere in the middle between a reusable and a consumable. So the reusable bit is my dishmatic and that just gets filled up with washing up liquid. But obviously the consumable bits are the washing up liquid and I'm really not loyal to brands at all. I tend to go for like lemony smelling, um, washing up liquids, but you know, it's whichever one's on offer. I really don't think that I have a brand preference there. The other bit that is technically consumable is these pads are replaceable. When they go a bit scabby, you can buy them in a pack of three and replace them, but you don't have to replace them that often, which is why it's like a somewhere in the middle. It is consumable, but not that often. My next and new favorite consumable product, because I believe that um, when you have used these and they go a bit scabby, you need to chuck them out and start again, are these 
Magic Sponge Erasers. Now, I picked these up in a recent haul in Pound Glam, which I shall link up here now. Um, and I picked them up because a whole load of you recommended them to me when I was complaining that my darling little two-year-old, who had coloured all over our little Ikea play table, she had coloured on it in washable felt tip, which obviously came off quite well with just with my Zoflora spray or whatever I was using. But the crayon did not want to come off. So a load of you recommended these magic sponge erasers and they are just add water, cut down to size for awkward to clean places, whatever. Literally just add a little bit of water to the thing, squeeze it out, white and the crayon wiped right off. So they are actual magic. I, I believe that magic is one of the ingredients in these. But um, yeah, these are another one of my favourites. Uh, a new favourite really, so obviously these are two magic sponge erasers, they were a pound in Poundland because that's how much things cost in Poundland. These are new, two of my favourites lists, but definitely on my favourites list now. Another one of my kind of stock favourite items, but I don't use it that much if I'm honest, is the pink stuff. I kind of only really use this for tough stains really baked on like something was really baked on the hob or something so although I don't use it loads and loads I do really like it it is literally a funny gritty paste if you haven't seen this before but if you you're dealing with kind of hard dried on nasty stains then it's pretty good Another one of the products that I don't use loads and loads, but I get out if I'm kind of gonna try and give the kitchen a nice finish. I use this occasionally on the sink um, and often on the front of my oven, which is stainless steel. And that is a Sith perfect, perfect, a Sith perfect finish for stainless steel. Can't even say that. Pith, Sith perfect finish, stainless, can you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Sith perfect finish for stainless steel. Hey, got it. So yeah, this I do like, like I said, it's not one of my kind of daily products, but it's one that I like to have in stock for buffing up the stainless steel. My next consumable cleaning product that I love is a Fairy Norm Bio in a powder. I use a powder as opposed to a gel or a tablet because um, up until recently, in fact she still is at night, but my daughter's been in cloth nappies. You're not supposed to use gel detergents to wash cloth nappies, so therefore I just stick with the powder. I like Fairy Non Bio because it's kind of soft and gentle. My children have got kind of teetering on eczema skin, not quite, but you know, sensitive skin. Um, and I find Fairy Non Bio works quite well, but because the powder would not clog the nappies, I figured it would not clog my cleaning cloths either. So that is what I use for cleaning all of our clothes, including the cloths. My next favourite cleaning consumable is my Lenore fabric softener. Now I do use this on clothing, I do not use it on cleaning cloths, on nappies or on cleaning pads and that is because it reduces the absorbency. So absolutely no fabric softener on anything that you would like to remain absorbent. My next favourite is my Lenore Unstoppables. A little scoop of these in my wash makes everything smell amazing. And I really do find that the smell lasts a lot longer than just a fabric softener or powder on its own. I really do get like a whiff of the Unstoppables, even when I'm putting my clothes on, even a little while after they have been washed and I'm taking them out to the water to wear. My next favourite consumable cleaning product is my Vanish. I have this in a Vanish color fast and a vanish for whites. Now this is really good if I've got stains on certain fabrics. I do kind of pre-soak in the sink with a scoop of this and sort of rub the vanish into the stain if there's going to be a problem or I just add it a scoop of it to the wash if I really want to kind of boost the power of stain removal. Another product that is consumable and I always have in stock is Mio Fresh. Now this is actually a nappy sanitizer, but it doubles up for sanitizing any kind of laundry that needs sanitizing. I mean, you can add a capful of Zoflora, which will sort of disinfect anything that needs disinfecting, so towels or bedding or whatever. So I do add a scoop of Mio Fresh if I'm going to be washing towels or cloths or anything like that. Do bear in mind though that if you are adding um, something that is disinfecting, 
such as your Mio Fresh or Yuzo Flora to your wash, it may have an effect on the colours, so it may kind of dull colours and drain those a little bit from your clothes. So kind of check out all the instructions before you wash and always look at the wash and care labels on anything you're washing before you chuck it in. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you want to watch lots of cleaning, decluttering, all that sort of good stuff, it's just down here. And if you would like to watch my latest video, it is just over here. I'll see you guys very soon.